so that is our today's topic so uh, before cloud computing right so whether we have any of the characteristics in the past whether the cloud computing characteristics have been adopted in the past if so what are those right so likewise only we are going to relate today's topic right evolution of cloud computing right okay let's have a look back session so which of the following is cloud platform given by amazon either azure aws cloud era or all aws okay what about this one google apps cloud computing is a shoot of dash type of applications that include gmail google calendar google docs and others so you want to identify which service model it is either it is an infrastructure or a platform or a software or communication as a service so it is a software as a service that is the right answer okay so next we are going to move on to the evolution of cloud so this evolution of cloud we already uh, know right so we uh, there is a process of renting something so here what we are going to rent is the computing services right so for renting the computing services we need the concept of distributed systems right so uh, yeah, actually it has been started from mainframe computers itself at the age of uh, say 1950s itself it has started right so from there a uh, specific kind of technologies has been evolved over time and time and now we are having the cloud computing concept right okay so this is the actual uh, evolution of distributed computing technologies diagram from 1950s how it has been evolved so initially we have the mainframe computers in back then uh, then comes the supercomputer right so you can also able to see the vertical axis mainframe development clusters grid and cloud right then the we have the evolution of arpanet okay that acts as a backbone for everything then the ethernet then uh, before that fine taxonomy which uses uh, how many instructions single instruction single data set or single instruction multiple data set so this uh, you have uh, studied in distributed system now you are having or you are studied in the last sem i think you you would have studied in the last sem right fine taxonomy that you have uh, classes have these classification single instruction single data set multiple data sets and uh, vice versa right then followed by uh, the development of ethernet and man that we have studied in the computer networks right then followed by the protocols developed for the uh, these networks that is tcp ip right udp whatever it may be then comes the actual internet right so with this we have have the http protocols then the markup languages then the clusters right then we have a standard specification that is rfc request for comment then followed i i triple e for for my 802.11 wifi everything then comes the grid computing and the extension of grid what we are calling it as the or the successor of grid what we are calling it as cloud computing right so in cloud computing there are many companies that uh, which are acting as the cloud providers right so that is what given in the whole diagram okay so in that uh, first we are going to see about the distributed systems so it is a collection of separate systems right but for us for the users it appears as a single system right so it may spread across the whole world right just they can be connected with the help of an internet right so what is the main purpose of a distributed system why the distributed systems have been developed mailing application illa abdina i cannot able to communicate messaging service illa na enala communicate panna mudiyadu initially panna mari i have to send a letter and i have to wait for a week or a, you know, even a month of time in order to get a reply right okay so what is the main use of the distributed system to share information yeah to share information and also in order to share the resources right how we can able to utilize the resources in a better manner right even if it is going to be a single system right we will be mainly taking care of cpu utilization right that cpu utilization has to be high so for that only uh, we are having so much uh, techniques in order to improve the 
சிபியூ யூட்டிலைசேஷன் எதுக்காக நம்ம ஓஎஸ்ல சிபியூ ஷெட்யூலிங் எல்லாம் படிச்சோம் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இன் கேஸ் ஆஃப் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டட் சிஸ்டம் தேர் ஆல்சோ வி நீட் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் த யூட்டிலைசேஷன் பவர் ரைட் தட் ஹேஸ் டு பி டேக்கன் கேர் right and also how okay we have already uh, noted that the distributed systems main use is to share information so how we are sharing information in what ways we can able to share the information so the main concept uh, we are going to use is message passing system right nam send and receive idala nam padichirukom you distributed system me padichirukom os le padichirukom same thing okay mps system message passing system we are going to use if not then it has to be a not only a shared memory it has to be a distributed shared memory right either dsm model you can go for or you can go for the message passing right so this concept we are going to share the resources we are going to communicate with each other through message passing systems right so that is one of the characteristics of cloud computing right so nama apdi da nama relate pandrom எப்படி இந்த டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டர் சிஸ்டம் கிளவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் கான்செப்ட்ல ஏதாவது ஒரு ஒரு கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஆகுது அதுல இருக்கா அப்படின்னு எஸ் இட் இஸ் ஹாவிங் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு பி ஆர் ரிலேட்டிங் ஓகே சோ நவு டெல் மீ விச் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் தட் ரன் ஆன் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டர் நெட்ஒர்க் யூசிங் வர்ச்சுவலைஸ் ரிசோர்சஸ் ஏதர் யூ கால் இட் அஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டர் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் ஒரு கிளவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் ஒரு சாஃப்ட் ஒரு பேரல் நவ் ஒன்லி வி ஹவ் சீன் வாட் அபவுட் த டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட்டர் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் ரைட் where the resources will be present in different locations so they have already given as distributed network so they have mentioned it it as a distributed network and the distributed network la special enna kuduthirukanga using virtualized resources right appa ad enna type of computing a irukum yes it is cloud computing right which uses the virtualized resources 